Hello guys, Kevin Faddy here. Uh, today's video is going to be how to add stat counter to your website. Very useful for tracking clicks, search engine keywords. Google Analysts is also very good, but today I'll cover stat counter. I use both on all my sites. Right, first of all, you go to statcounter.com. See here. And once you, it takes two, two minutes to open an account and click add new project in the website title i'm going to use oh, one i should have set up a while ago i sell sips website url category uh, category would be computers and internet gmt you can leave everything as standard, just click next. Just make sure you fill out a category. Click and install code. Configure and install code. Um, I, in general, use invisible counters. So choose that option. Click next. Default installation guide, yes. Click next for most projects there will be. and you're provided with the code. Just copy the code, follow the instructions on screen. Simply copy and paste it exactly onto your web pages that you want to track, so all web pages, and make sure it's inserted after the body tag and before the end of body tag. I generally put it at the end of the web page. So open up your web page document, you have your HTML, and just scroll down to the very end. End of every HTML document is usually the two tags end of body end of html just place it above end of body and that's it save your file and upload it to your server you'll see there'll be nothing showing on the page it's an invisible counter so when you go to your stats you'll see this is not that project, but it's new. You'd be able to see where the links are coming from, how often they're coming in from. And what I like about this is the recent visitor map. You can see where most of your visitors actually originate from easily and quickly. As you can see, I like to cover, <laughs> I've covered most of Europe and America with this. Um, okay, any questions? You can get me on Skype, Kevin Faddy 535 K-E-V-I-N. F-A-H-E-Y 535. Thank you.